Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So today, right after you subscribe, I'm gonna tell you about the most standing out fragrances with the biggest silage, very very distinctive, recognizable. Whenever you wear them you're gonna get compliments, especially from men. They are really really obnoxious and strong and powerful definitely not for a shy girl okay you're interested great so let's get started the first one that i want to show you is by swiss arabia and this is shahav oud uh, of course this has been said many times that it is a great dupe for uh, Lancome ou Bouquet. If you want a great in-depth review of the comparison between the two, I would highly suggest checking out Moon Perfumes here on YouTube. She recently did an amazing comparison video between Shahav Oud and Oud Bouquet. And I must say she's absolutely right. And the difference between the two is that this one is way more spicy, is stronger in the beginning, is way more potent. And this one will leave a tail, a trail. I would like to say a tail. It, it just sounds cute, you know? Um, anyways, it will leave a huge cloud of fragrance whenever you walk into the room. Very, very strong one. This is oud, but very sweet oud, not a bitter oud. This is a great beginner friendly uh, fragrance when it comes to oud. So if you want to try oud fragrances, this is a great one to try, but you have to keep in mind you need to like sweet ones. So this is very sweet uh, rose oud combination with a lot of praline. There is some saffron in here. So very, very gorgeous fragrance. I actually, I'm not wearing anything right now, so maybe I should wear this one. Why don't? I haven't worn it for a while. This is amazing and this is super, super strong and obnoxious. Okay, so that's that. Another super obnoxious fragrance, uh, speaking of oud, this is actually an alien flanker and surprisingly I'm not going to mention the original alien in here because there is something that's even more of a beast mode and this is alien oud. I love this fragrance, this is so good guys. Uh, the first 15 minutes is very indolic, if you know what I mean. You know, this like a barnyard kind of smell. Um, so yeah, you know, it might be a little off-putting in the first few minutes, but then, amazing. This is gorgeous oud, uh, definitely a drier oud, uh, with the whole alien DNA in here, with some cardamom added. Also, what's very interesting is that um, the perfumer behind this actually created a perfume by switching the whole fragrance pyramid upside down. So what happened here, the oud is in the very beginning of the fragrance as soon as you spray it. That's why it might get a little bit indolic in the beginning. Uh, but then as it dries down, it gets to those more ambery, uh, jasmine notes from the alien. So it's a very, very interesting combination. I would even like to say that when it comes to designer perfumery, this is a masterpiece, especially when it comes to playing with wood. So I highly, highly recommend trying this one out. It's, it's good, if you like wood. Okay, next one. So, Super obnoxious fragrance, at least in my opinion, because this is a fragrance that lasts and lasts for hours. Everybody can smell it on you. Uh, it's great for winter parties. I love club going clubbing in winter, wearing this one. It's very strong for summer, um, but during the night, I think you can totally pull this off. I definitely did many times. And this is Hypnotic Poison by Dior. This is more of a sweet gourmandish scent, still being on the oriental side of spectrum, but so, so strong. The only thing uh, when it comes to notes that I don't really like is licorice, but in here I really do not mind because it has that sweet, sticky kind of smell to it, so I, I don't mind in this particular case. 
So this is very almond, like burnt almond scent, strong vanilla, a lot of tonka, uh, as I said, some licorice, very, very interesting scent. And again, um, there's also coconut in here, which I love coconut. It makes it a little bit more milky, very, very strong. The lasting power is amazing on it, so yeah. Uh, guys, I don't want to repeat myself every time I speak about the fragrance, so I'm just going to say straight away that all these fragrances have lasting power um, up um, from 10 hours. So it's 10 hours plus with lasting days on clothes, and there is no mistake here. So if you like something very, very pungent, you'll be very satisfied. If you like something softer, these are not for you, okay? So that's that. Another Migla that I want to show you is a newer Migla in my collection and this is Aura. So this one was recommended to me many times and I finally understood the whole concept on the fragrance um, when I actually explored the areas that it should reminisce of, like a jungle kind of scent, like a wet ground with wet um, trees, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like a jungle scent and it's absolutely beautiful. Also, one of my beautiful subscribers who is also from South Africa, hello, actually said that it reminds her of a tropical, tropical garden um, on the way to Cape Town. So I highly, highly agree with that as well. And yeah, this is gorgeous. This is a sweet vanilla. Uh, with very spicy and green notes. So uh, you're gonna have this constant fight between that sweet sweet feminine vanilla and those green, strong, wild, spicy elements to it. Very, very interesting. I think it's super sexy as well. Mm, it's great for clubbing and I think it plays beautifully in summer and in winter. Uh, in winter, you're gonna smell more of that sweetness from the vanilla. In summer, you're definitely get, gonna get more of that strong spicy note. That's how I feel it. So yeah, that's Aura by Mugula. Next one. It is love from the first sight. There's something in my hair that really bugs me, whatever. This was a love from the first sniff. Laikoam Razazi Jasmine Wisp. Guys. Oh, mind blow. I love it. This is very, very sweet, fruity, uh, a little bit tropical, coconutty passion fruit, and then it gets to oud and amber, and vanilla, and some tonka, I think. Masterpiece. I really, really enjoy those Middle Eastern brands that make perfumes, because to be honest, I feel like Middle East is like the heart of perfumery. Sorry, friends. But really, like, they know their stuff. They know their ooze, they know their roses, you know? They know their strong perfumes. I love it. If you would like to see a video on all these oriental brands that I've been exploring recently, let me know. I would love to make like a nice roundup for you, what's worth it, what's not. So Razazi is definitely a worth it one. And this is super, super strong. Everybody's gonna smell you, lasts for hours. And it's very sweet and girly, but yet it has that depth again, you know, that woody, vanillic, ambery depth to it. Amazing, amazing. And I feel like this is a, this is actually the best fragrance if you want to smell very, very strong and obnoxiously in the summertime during the night out. And this is also great to mix with, uh, with some stronger woods. So yeah. Highly, highly recommend that one. Very, 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 very sweet. Another super, super sweet one, and I am obsessed with this perfume since I got it. And this is La Belle by Jean Paul Gaultier. And uh, in general, Jean Paul Gaultier really likes his obnoxious perfumes, you know? They're usually quite strong on a certain note. Um, I've been asked about Scandal many, many times. 
Uh, to be honest, guys, I'll be like completely straight up with you. I don't. Uh, I did own the original scandal. I gave it to my mom for now. We'll see. Maybe I'll just get it back and make a review for you. But uh, to me, the ingredients that they use are not very um, good quality. Uh, and to be honest, scandal. Even though I really like that scent, um, and I like the honey note in it. Uh, in general, this is a pulp of sweetness, and the flankers of it are just getting worse and worse, if you know what I mean. And I hope you are okay with my opinion, because I'm not talking about the scent, because I do like it, don't get me wrong, but in general, the quality is... But this one is really good, and this is different than anything that they have in their range because this is a very strong vanilla pear perfume uh, it's also very potent on vetiver so you're gonna get this a little bit spicy oriental vibe to it and so it's super super sweet and you know uh, it usually happens that I just go for my perfumes preparing for the video you know just um, trying to get some ideas so you know I stand by my counter and I just keep spraying perfumes in the ad you know just get a resemblance from them and to see what I think again and every single time uh, even though I might have sprayed 10 perfumes at that time 15 perfumes at that time every time my boyfriend walks by he says I smell La Belle I don't know what that is about, but this is such a potent scent and for some reason it just bites off everything that's around her. You know what I mean? It just it just wants its way in here. I'm here, look at me. This is that kind of scent, but very, very sweet, a little bit leaning oriental, but still has that pear. Interesting. It's interesting and I really like I really like wearing it um, for the nights out and I really like wearing it for dates. This is like my date scent. So yeah, that's La Belle. Another super strong scent that has been out and about for years and years and years. Now since I was a little girl, I remember my mom wearing it and rocking it as soon as it came out. And you know, it was a huge hype back then uh, for it. And I feel like it's coming back again. And this is Dior Addict, the original Dior Addict. Of course, I don't have the old version, I have the 2013 version. And this is the Eau de Parfum, very strong powdery scent based on jasmine and white flowers and vanilla. There are some citruses in the beginning, I think. Like in the very, very beginning. Uh, there is something light in here, but for the most part, it's powdery, it's strong, it's vanilla and jasmine combination. I really, really like it. Um, this is on the mature side, in my opinion, because of the powderiness that it gives. Uh, the jasmine here is quite sweet, and they used a vanilla bourbon in here, which is like the best quality vanilla. So I highly recommend it. If you are up for good quality ingredients, unlike Jean-Paul Gaultier, um, check this one out because this is really good. Woo! And last but not least, Montal Intense Cafe. Guys, this was another love from the first sniff for me and you guys recommended that to me and I highly, highly appreciate it because this is by far my signature scent of the year. And this is a very, very strong rose vanilla and coffee. I know some people don't smell coffee in here or not enough coffee as they would like to, but I do get a lot of coffee in here. And I also get rose and vanilla and some oriental woody udinos, as I call it. And the lasting power is amazing. And what's very interesting about it is that I don't get anything artificial in here. I know that some people complain about the artificial notes, um, that smell of, you know, of fakeness in Montal and Mancera perfumes. However, I really don't get that here. 
So I highly recommend checking it out. It leaves a very, very good trail. Siliage is so, so good and it lasts for hours. So these are my top 10 loud, outstanding fragrances that leave the biggest trail of them all. And I really, really love them. I actually have one more to show you, which I forgot about, I'm sorry. And this is Al Haramein uh, Amber Oud Rouge. So this is the new uh, version of their whole Amber Oud family. And this one is inspired, very strongly inspired, let's get it out there, by uh, Maison Francis Côte de Jeanne uh, Baccarat Rouge 540. And this definitely has 90% of resemblance from Baccarat Rouge, but what makes it even more loud and more obnoxious uh, from Baccarat Rouge is that there's oud in here. So uh, after the you know the heart of the fragrance goes away and you're left with the dry down, you smell that gorgeous benzoinic uh, sweetness that Baccarat Rouge also has uh, with added oud. So basically this is Baccarat Rouge with oriental twist to it. And to, to be honest, this is one of my favorite uh, when it comes to Baccarat Rouge inspirations, I made the video on that as well recently, so go ahead and check it out. So yeah, this is the 10th one and definitely lost, last but not least. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked it because, you know, I know that... Um, I am definitely a type when it comes to fragrances and I love my strong fragrances that I don't have to reapply throughout the day, even though I still do, but let's skip that. And I feel like if you have any of these, you are really gonna rock the world and they are so strong on the silage. They're really, really outstanding. So thank you so much once again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next video. Bye.